A4 of Manny back here with another video on the Cascade Sense fragrance station. This one is on five fragrance essentials that you need for the holidays. But as always, before we get on with everything, the goal for this video is 500 likes. If we reach that goal, I'll randomly PM any of you subscribers in the comment section below for your details, as you'll be the recipient of an assorted niche fragrance sample pack. So with that out of the way, let's talk about some of these essentials. The holidays are a hectic time for a lot of us in the Western world, depending on where you live. And who knows, maybe you're stressed the F out too. So you're super cold, you're doing last minute Christmas shopping, you're decorating, you're getting ready for dinners and holiday parties and whatnot. And amidst all that chaos, you have to smell nice. So I think that's where I come in. So with that being said, hopefully you guys can identify with some of what I have to say here. And without further ado, we'll talk about my first fragrance essential and it is my beater fragrance. My beater fragrance is the one fragrance that I'll be wearing a lot of when I am doing errands and whatnot, when I'm just out and about, or if I'm just chilling around and need a break. So it has to be versatile, crowd pleasing, and most importantly, one that I genuinely love because I'll be reaching for it a lot. So my beater choice for the holidays this year is none other than Sweet Tobacco Spirits by 1821 Man Made. This is 1821 Man Made's take on the now staple honey tobacco subgenre in Meds Perfumery, but here it leans super boozy at the same time, kind of like in the direction of a back to black by by Killian, but not as fruity in the opening. So I personally really like what it brings to the table as far as performance, positive feedback and value because it's one of the best fragrances you can buy for under a hundred US dollars. So that's why it's my beater fragrance this year. Your beater fragrance doesn't necessarily have to be this one, but I definitely think you need at least one or two. And again, they have to encapsulate all of that aforementioned criteria. All right, moving on to my next fragrance essential now. This one is my showstopper fragrance. Now my showstopper fragrance is essentially my formal or holiday party get together type of scent. I want something that is super regal for these occasions, but something that's equally jovial at the same time. So my showstopper fragrance this year is Angelique Noir by Guerlain. This stuff specifically is both aromatic and slightly fruity and spicy, but ultimately comes off as a dry and powdery vanilla, which I love. Also, I always get noticed with this rather easily because of its killer performance off my skin, so I have to be easy on the trigger as a result too. Overall, with this stuff though, I just feel like a total baller when I wear it, and that's why I love it. But again, if you also have these occasions for yourself during the holidays too, you're gonna dress to impress, so you might as well smell to impress as well. Again, in my case, I'm doing it with Angelique Noir by Guerlain. Yours doesn't have to be this, but I think you at least need something. Moving on to the next fragrance essential now, portable options. Again, I don't know about you, but where I live, it's really cold and dry during this time of the year, and reapplying your dissipating fragrance can actually be made easy with some of these. Whether it's an empty atomizer that you yourself have filled with one of your favorite fragrances that you already had, or one of those travel sprays that you bought from the source straight up, you can't go wrong with either. So stop carrying around silly bottles publicly to reapply or waiting to get home to actually reapply too. Just do it on the go if you really want to, so get yourself some travel options if you don't already have them. Now moving on to the next fragrance essential that you need for the holidays, diffusers. Now personally, I don't understand why the fragrance community altogether kind of downplays home fragrance. I don't know about you for them, but if humans smell nice, I think their habitat should smell nice too. So in this case, I think ultrasonic diffusers are great because they're a lot more cost effective than niche fragrance candles because these burn through really fast. Just fill her up with water like my Sage Natural Wellness Diffuser right here, add a few drops of your preferred oil, and you're good to go. I personally love diffusing peppermint oil because it's inexpensive, it smells cool yet cozy, but also I want to delve into more of the dessert-like and warm spicy options out there, which would be equally awesome for the holidays. Now diffusers are a relatively new thing for me, but I'm really obsessed with them lately. So if you have any essential or perfume oil recommendations, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it, and yeah, diffusers for the win. And lastly, my final essential and one that I'm typically most excited for during the holidays, which I kind of already mentioned, candles. Now depending on what oil you use, typically diffusers have a light and ethereal effect, but more often than not, the sheer power of a hot candle throw just cannot be beat. Like this right here for me is overwhelmingly cozy. This is a piece a Delice by Natique. Forum, I kid you not, I have the most beast mode gingerbread scent right here outside of actually baking cookies. You have notes of vanilla and honey, along with that star anise for the comfiest aroma ever, which is perfect for this time of the year. Now you don't need to go for something like this because for a candle that only lasts around 60 hours, it is quite expensive. So feel free to pop into your local Bath and Body Works or Yankee Candles to find some more affordable, warm and cozy options yourself. With that being said, again, I can't get enough of this, a piece A Delice by Diptyque, my candle option for the holidays. And there it is, Forum. Hopefully you enjoy my five fragrance essentials that you need for the holidays. But it's that time of the video where I'd love some of your own personal feedback. What do you think of some of these essentials? Is there anything I miss? And if so, what? Please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, again, if you enjoyed this video or if it put a smile on your face, 
please be sure to like and subscribe if you get to. Again, 500 likes and a random subscriber in the comments gets an assorted niche fragrance sample pack. So again, help me help you. And until then, salute and thank you for your time as always. Take care for now. Peace out. Bye. Where are your fragrances?